Hello guys, welcome to Investors Vibe. My name is Philip, and today we are here to talk about Quant Atlas. Quant Atlas is a network started by the Quant Network team. This is to provide interoperable banking by interconnecting the world's open banking networks. And open banking is the UK form of the PSD2 in the EU. This was started back in November 16, 2018. That was uh, 2015. That was when it was passed. And later on in 2018, January 13, that's when it was enforced by the government to make sure that banks and other financial institutions provide APIs to non-banking firms to make it possible for its customers to have access to their financial data through third-party apps. So they provide APIs publicly so that any firm or any financial company that will see the need to provide services for users by using that data provided through the APIs can have access to them. So it has been here for some time now, but there are some problems with it because it's new and many people are not even using it right now, but teams, many teams out there are building networks in order to make this possible. This is a very good thing for we, the customers of banks, because this time we can have access to many data from many banks in order to make comparisons and it will create competition between banks themselves so that they can provide us with better services. And most importantly, previously, if a startup wants to have access to our data in order to provide us with services, they have to ask the banks and the banks have the power to either grant the services or deny them. But right now, they can't deny any services of these people. Whenever they make a request to have access to our data through APIs, the banks have to provide them. And importantly, they also have to do that through strong customer authentication. And also, they have to make sure that whatever data they are providing is after we've made a consent that, yes, we are the one making the request for our data. So it's been here for some time now, but... There are many problems with it, like I said. The main problem is the friction through the open banking because right now we can send money from one country to the other through open banking. But there are many regulations in different jurisdictions. The regulations are different as well. So it makes it difficult to send money from maybe Spain to Germany or to another country. If you're sending money through open banking, not in the UK, but in the U in the EU, it's known as the PSD2. They are there to make sure that we can have access to our data through TPPS, like the third party providers. Because there is this friction problem, that's why Quant Network is building Quant Atlas. They are making sure that the Atlas will connect many open banking services as many as possible, so they they will provide these PSD2 networks on their Quant Atlas network from different jurisdictions. Before any one joins, they will figure out how to solve the regulation problem. So if you're sending money from one country to the other through the Quant Atlas network, it will be easier because the banks that you'll be sending it to are already member of the network. So right now, if I'm sending money from maybe Spain to Germany, this is how the open banking works. This is the user this is me i'll make a request through the tpps to make payment or something and then the tpps through the apis will make contact with my bank and the bank can the bank now have to make consent it has to make sure that it's me so it will make a request through a very strong custom authentication i will now verify that yes it's me and then the bank will now give a feedback to the tpps uh, to the third party app that i'm using to grant the request and right now the payment will go through <laughs> so after this is made uh, because i'm sending it to a different jurisdiction it will be a problem because the protocol the regulations in my country is different from that of the country that i'm sending the money to so that friction exists but right now through the quant network it will be easier because the bank that I'm sending it from is a, net, uh, is a member of the network and the bank that I'm sending it to is also a member of the network. So before this is even made, there is a way to figure out to have harmony between the jurisdictions and whatever rule they have that is different. So everything is figured out. So it makes it easy to send money from one country to the other through the Quant Atlas. That's very brilliant. And I think 
the size of the open banking, the PSD2, we don't know it yet. It's a new technology. We all know many people are praising it and saying that it's a good way to go. But teams are now building networks and so it's not even in force yet. But in the next few years, from 10, 5, even from about 5 years now, I think we're going to see the effect of it. And it's good to start early. So I think this is a good thing for Quant Network. If you look at banking, I don't think banking is going anywhere because right now, I think many, even through the blockchain, I think they are trying to secure their existence. So they are, you see, we just saw what uh, JP Morgan just did and many banks are also following and we know what repo and xrp is building they are building networks to help banking transfer money and everything so we have to also find a way as users as customers to make sure that we are protected and we have easy access and this is going to help improve innovation in the fintech area and also most importantly is going to help create competition which will help as the customer so i think quant network is going to be here for small businesses that will send money from one country to the other easily and also i think we the customers we're going to love it very much because not just is it going to make it easy to send money from one country to the other and reduce the friction that exists right now but also it's going to help create another form of security ahead of what we already have with blockchain because of is zero knowledge proof we know what is building with go verify so if it's using that security to help secure and make sure that our data is protected so this is what i wanted to talk to you about today and i think it helps because i saw this i was very excited you see many times so i think many people were probably looking at them and weren't understanding what was happening so if you are the user here this is open banking the network that you'll be using this is it and then this is the third party provider so maybe this is the app you've installed uh, you've installed on your phone so you will have access to this you open the app and then the app has access to your data through the apis that your bank will provide so the aspsp is the bank is the account servicing payment service provider the bank that you're using and then the tpp is the third party provider that you're using so they will provide the api so that they will have access to your data and if you make a request for a data then your bank will also make a, the third party will also make the request and your bank will seek for consent from you and if you confirm then they will grant access to the data so i think this is a good thing. So to have even a network that is more secure than what we already have is a plus to have Quant Atlas. So let's hope and see what the team builds with this one. The idea is great. Everything is very, very exciting. And we also have many other opportunities that I think this will create, like recognize cross-border authorization and consent, align regulatory harmonization to export open banking solutions from one jurisdiction to another, allow for cross-border open banking operations by participants, and enhance consumer and business protection against fraud via additional levels of encryption based on our zero-proof knowledge. So this is what I was talking about, like what they used to build Gold Verify. So I think this will be the middle ground where they will use overledger to create the interoperable and then they use go verify to create the security the additional security layer needed in order to make sure everything is secure because this data that the banks will be providing through the apis are going to be sensitive so we have to make sure that whoever is assessing this data through the third party apps is the right owner of the data so to have a secure network is a must and we are glad Quant Network is tackling this. So this is what happened. Um, very exciting right now. Quant Network is in green and it's real today because everything is in red right now. It's not exciting. I don't know. Maybe the little pump we had is busting. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but this is what's going on right now. Quant is trading at $3.24. Crypto.com surprisingly 21 percent <laughs> that's yeah so guys thank you for watching and if you're new to my channel then please 
you got to know i make youtube videos talking about cryptocurrencies reviews and updates and also if you're a fan of quant network then i don't think there's a better place to be informed about whatever is going on with quant network subscribe please to my channel and hit the notification bell thank you for watching and please comment what you what you think about this uh do you think it's a great thing to do or you think maybe they should channel their resources to something else because i think this is amazing thank you for watching my name is philip here is investors vibe and another time